Jennifer jumped into the workforce, and at the same time, she continued to run the house, be the number one support system for her daughters, and act as John's primary caregiver. Just the amount of emotional stories that we get where people truly want to share their life experience of how we've helped them or a family member, that's been the most rewarding. After eight seasons, Queer Eye star Bobby Burks hanging up his jacket, speaking out for the first time as to why he's not returning to the hit Netflix show. And no, it's not over a cast feud. From day one, we were always like, this is the five. The 42-year-old designer tells Vanity Fair the decision to leave wasn't an easy one. There's been lots of speculation he's butted heads with co-star, fashion expert Tan France. People recently going, oh, is there a riff? And while Bobby admits they had a moment of disagreement, he promises they'll be fine, saying the show's been the most amazing gift that he couldn't have ever imagined. Adding, it's been a life-changing moment. I'm leaving something that is a huge part of my life. When I design a client's home, including Mayor Ted, I'm always thinking about the way the space needs to function. So I have found that interior design is very personal and very emotional. So why exactly is he exiting the show? Bobby breaks it down to the mag, sharing that he, Tan, and the rest of the Fat Five, which includes Culture and Lifestyle coach Karamo Brown, food and wine specialist Anthony Perowski, and beauty guru Jonathan Van Ness, were all under the impression they weren't coming back after wrapping filming in 2022, when their contracts had come to an end. Bring a whole box of tissues. Okay. You will cry like crazy, and that's all I can say. We thought we were done, mentally and emotionally. I thought we all moved on. But to his surprise, the series was renewed last fall. Like, uh, we filmed six seasons within two and a half years. Yeah. Press tours, Australia season, it was a lot. And while he and some of his co-stars planned on not signing back on due to their other commitments, Bobby says, we just assumed that the show wouldn't come back if we all didn't come back. Yeah. All the answers don't come to you at once. But after some conversations, the other four stars did decide to return, despite his decision not to. And with only one of us not coming back, Netflix felt it could recast one person. Bobby admits he was upset over the situation for a second, but understands each one of us had our reasons why we did what we did, saying he wasn't willing to change the plans he made when they thought they weren't coming back. I would have to have pumped the brakes on the multiple projects that are already in process. We have mentally just prepared ourselves to move on. That's why I left. And with his departure, Bobby says he'll miss his Fab Five siblings, remembering their truly great chemistry and real connection from the very beginning, their 2017 auditions. Cromwell found a video of us on the first day of casting where literally us three were already sitting next to each other. He was covered up in Tan's jacket. You see them in the background. <laughs> we knew, like we connected so like our, quickly. It's like our from the very first hour, I would say, Tan and Karamo and I ended up sitting next to each other, ended up really clicking. And then we noticed like Jonathan and Anthony were doing that as well. And it, it just, the five of us, and lucky enough, five of us from each group, uh, from each category, we just kind of ended up just really meshing together. And by the end, I think that at the end of the first day, the five of us were in our little pod. And by the second day, I had already started a group text named the Fab Five. 